Let the battle for the vault floor spot for the 2024 Paris Olympics begin. So let's play a game. We are awarding 10 points to whoever wins each event. At the end of four rounds we will add up all the points and see which girl has the most points. First gets 10 points, second 8 points, third 6 points, and fourth 4 points. In my opinion Jade Carey wins the vault event. She is just the best vaulter out of the group. She does the hardest two vaults the cleanest out of this group. Jade was the world champ. On vault from 2022, I would give Jade at this moment the advantage. On vault, here's her double full, opens up. I would say Jordan Childs is the best natural vaulter that does not do the hardest vaults. If the judges would do their jobs, her vaults would score higher. But in the current landscape of gymnastics, difficulty normally trumps clean execution. Jordan definitely needs to do a Cheng vault in 2024. But until we see a Cheng, I would put her in second to Jade. Four. We have seen a one and a half. This is two twists. Jordan Childs of the USA. This is the USA on vault. This is her second vault. Our little firecracker Jocelyn Roberson. She does do two of the hardest vaults in the world. The Cheng and the DTY Jocelyn issue is her form in the air. She isn't as natural powerful as Jordan or Jade, but Jocelyn has a quick snap to her skills. If she can clean up her form on vault, she will probably be the one named to the 2024 Paris Olympic team. Kalia Lincoln, our superstar from the Pan American Games. Her biggest issue is she doesn't have a second vault. Kalia DTY compared to Jordan Jade or Josk is clearly the worst. She normally has a large step back on it. To my knowledge, we have never seen her do a half on entrance vault. Nor a front entrance. She has other events but for now she is in last place. Big double twisting your Chenko planned. 
and a big double. After round one, Jade Carey has 10 points, Jordan Childs has 8 points, Josclyn Roberson has 6 points, and Kalia Lincoln has 4 points. See you all at the next round. Bye-bye.